close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to be with it consistently. You're trying to train the mind here. The mind likes to run around. It's looking for happiness outside all the time. We're training it to stay right here so you can begin to see there's the possibility of happiness right here without having to run around. This is an important part of training the mind is seeing that the sources of happiness lie inside. When the training comes down to big three, three big things, excuse me, generosity, virtue, and the meditation. Generosity is a lesson that we learn very early on, that it's not through gaining things from outside that when we can be happy, but, but it's also acting on our impulse to share something. And then acting on that impulse, you see, oh, here's the source of happiness, it's inside. You act on it and you increase your happiness. Because the impulse to give is good. It's a pleasant impulse. And then when you've given, you look back at what you've done. You've really helped somebody else. Now, the giving here doesn't have to be material things. You can give your time. You can give your energy. You can give your forgiveness to somebody, which for some reason seems to be one of the hardest things to give. But it shouldn't be, because all you have to do is say, I'm not going to be creating any more trying to find revenge or trying to get back at this person for whatever that person has done. You just give them forgiveness, and that's you've stopped that cycle of retribution. And it's a good thing to give all the time. So it doesn't have to be material things. You don't have to reach for your wallet in order to give, in order to have an act of generosity, in order to feel happy from the generosity. Just give your time, give your energy. Be fair to other people. That also is a gift. And the next gift you can give moves up into virtue, which is to abstain from harming other people. And you decide you're not going to harm anybody in any way. You're not going to kill, steal, have illicit sex, tell lies, or take alcoholic beverages or other drugs of, this, of that sort. And it's a gift, again, to yourself. You find that by acting on that intention, the source of your happiness lies inside. You have a precept here. You have a principle inside that you hold to. And there's a sense of self-worth that comes from that. At the same time, you're finding that you have a lack of regret. If you don't go around doing unskillful things, then you don't have to think about them later and say, Oh my gosh, I wish I hadn't done that unskillful thing. And that way, as I say, virtue is a noble treasure. If you have regret, you can't spend any amount of money to get rid of the regret. The best way to avoid regret is just not to harm anybody to begin with. And you look at where does the happiness come from, the virtue? It comes from sticking with your principles having a sense of self-worth, that you're not going to stoop to unskillful behavior in order to find your pleasures. That too is a source of happiness that comes from within. This leads you to look even deeper as you meditate, the ability to get the mind to settle down and be with the breath, be in the present moment, and find a sense of well-being right there. Once you have that sense of inner well-being, then the ways of the world can spin around you, but you don't have to spin after them. Otherwise, you go running after material gain, and you go running after status, and you go running after praise, and you go running after sensual pleasures. And sometimes you get them, and sometimes they turn into the exact opposite. So there's no real satisfaction that comes from out there. But if you learn to turn around and look inside, you find that the sources for happiness are right here, even just in something simple as giving your time, giving your energy, and so on up through the meditation. So remember that you're looking at the right spot. You're looking inside. and acting on the good impulses of the mind. And there's a really a really strong sense of well-being, a really strong sense of happiness that comes from that. When you learn how to appreciate it, it's a lot easier to live in the world and not get pulled away by the world into, into actions that you're later going to regret. The true happiness lies right here.